Hi, Kevin Cloak from uh, Wattmaster Proprietary Limited. Uh, we're, um, we're in the warehouse with uh, Paul Cap from Edith Vale Electrical last week. He's doing some electrical work for us and he was talking to us about steel wired armoured cable glands and told us he's a bit of a gun at terminating them. So uh, Paul's kindly agreed to demonstrate how to terminate a steel wired armoured cable gland today, which is um, this device here. Uh, just before Paul shows us the demonstration, it's very important to get the overall diameter of the cable correct when um, installing steel wide armoured cable yeah, glands. It's critical to get the OD right, otherwise it's all over, you can't, can't fit it correctly. Now you can find the dimensions of the um, cable in the cable data books supplied by the major cable manufacturers which include Olex Cable, Prismium, General Cables, etc. And when you're reading the cable data books, the key area electricians are interested in is a cross-sectional area of the copper conductors, because it's, and probably you're an electrician if you're watching this and you know that's what you're really interested in for your current carrying capacity. But it's very rarely that electricians worry about the outside diameter of the cable. But when selecting cable glands, as we said, it's critical to consider the outside diameter of the cable. Now, when you read the cable data book and get the outside diameter of the cable, it's nominal only. It can vary um, on a wide tolerance up to 22% in some cases from one manufacturer. So when you're talking the same cable internal cross-sectional area from various manufacturers, you can have a wide swing of um, cable sizes. Hence why at um, Wattmaster with our Elko glands we have four 20 mil glands in steel white armoured to cover all these contingencies. But the very best way to check your outside diameter of a cable is to use the vernier calipers and measure them on site because cable can even vary in one roll the outside diameter. So the best way to select your cable is to measure with a vernier over the out overall insulation over the armour and then over the um, insulation over the bedding. So all these instructions are available at whatmaster.com.au and in our catalogue and in um, quality cable manufacturers data books. So now we'll swing over to Paul who will um, show us the craft involved in terminating a cable glen. Alright, we'll measure the outside diameter of the cable first. Um, 21 mil, Kevin. 21 mil. 21 mil. All right. Uh, let's open the gland and have a look at the selection chart. I think this is the right gland for that, but we'll just double check on the selection chart. Yeah, sure. This is because that's what the guys in the field will be sent the gland, but it's always a good idea to double check. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. So nice you. yes, thank you. So you said 21 mil. Yes. Yes, uh, and what's the catalogue number on the outside of that gland? It's a W20UR. W20UR, and it will do with an outside diameter between 19.5 and 22.5. So that sounds perfect, Paul. Okay. All right, let's uh, see how that goes. Yep, seems to fit all right. Seems to fit good. Yep. All right, we'll start by uh, ringing the uh, steel white armour. Um, and it's uh, important that you... Uh, that you score the steel wire armour all the way around, um, otherwise it's a bit of a nightmare later on when you've got to snap it off. So you don't go right it. through, do you, Paul? No, no, you're yeah. just scoring the armour at the moment. So just like the score it so that you can snap it off. the outer sheath. Now, now you're using a Stanley knife Paul. But well I prefer the Stanley knives. You can use a long bladed knife but you've got better control um, over a Stanley knife because the blade's shorter. So I find that these are just you're just too far away from the work and you can't control it as well. But there's many ways you could do this with various cable strippers. Etc. Yeah there is yeah you could use an orange circular cable stripper if you wanted to and run it down the cable. But uh, I find this is the easiest way. You're cutting away from yourself so there's no uh, chance of you injuring yourself. So once you've, uh, you've 
got that outer sheath off. Just inspect it and make sure that you've scored it all the way around the outside. Looks pretty good. So now uh, pick some strands and just uh, snap them off gently. Just make sure you don't do too many, just do four or five at a time. Otherwise you'll end up with a bit of a mess. Like that. Now later the gland will actually grab onto that to uh, yeah. give it the pull out strength. Won't yeah. it? Alright, once you've done that, you can disassemble your gland and start getting it uh, ready to... So you've just pulled out the back ring and the rear seal? Yeah, yep. yeah. I normally slide those on first. So you just flared the... Uh, yep, just flared the armour cable. And you're the, driving the cane in. Driving the cane in and making sure you're not pinching any of the strands. So the strands are fitting around the cane. Yeah, they're supposed to be on the outside of the cane. You don't want them on the inside. And then the ring is gripping over the top of yep, the cane. And, and clamping it. Okay. And just simply nipping it up to hold it. And, and then obviously then you're just, just getting a bit of a grip with the just, get, just, started, just starting the thread off, yeah. Okay. And then obviously you slide it into a motor housing or a junction box or wherever you're going to terminate it into. Okay. So make sure you have the fibre seal on there. And the optional earthing lug. Yes. And the lock nut. And then tighten everything up. And then tighten everything later. up when you yeah. when you put it into whatever you're going to terminate it into. So oh, that's pretty much it. Well, there you have it. Paul showed us the craft involved in terminating a steel wide arbon cable gland. Uh, it Paul's made it seem quick and easy, but remember you're dealing with a master electrician at the pinnacle of his trade who has done a lot of this type of terminating. If you haven't done it before, it's going to take you a little while to get the um, capability Paul has. So if you uh, have to do a lot of this terminating, this is a good place to start to get this knowledge, but nothing will beat practical experience in the field. And if you do have any more um, inquiries or knowledge or information that you need, it's all available on whatmaster.com.au.